In Control Up Solve, we have our real-time health status dashboard, which is an awesome overview of some of the top metrics related to resource utilization and user experience. For example, we can see how many active user sessions we have, average user logon duration, the slowest logons in the organization, what type of stress level our active sessions may be encountering, and more. The data being displayed, as the name suggests, is refreshed in real time, so you may notice throughout the demo that the numbers and charts change. If you'd like, you can change your view to just see the user experience related metrics displayed, or select just to view the resource metrics. All of the widgets displayed are interactive. You can hover over any of the charts for more details. You can click on the little clock icon for a historical view, or even click on the data itself to drill down further, which I will demo a little later. At any time, we can change the scope of the data that we are viewing. Perhaps I would like to view the data on a specific group or pool of my virtual desktops running in my Citrix site, VMware Horizon Farm, or Windows Virtual Desktop Tenant. I can browse to just that folder view in my organization and simply click Focus. This will show me my key performance indicators for just these published desktops. I can observe in real time the machine resource utilization, the general health of the machines, if they are registered, what their uptime is, IP address, and much more. In fact, I can change the data that I view and select from many different metrics to see exactly what I want. Rather than view at a folder level, I could also view from the EUC site level too, or from a delivery group or desktop pool level as well. We can see when focused just on my Horizon environment, I can see just those machines and their data. If I'd like to look at a high level view of my entire organization, I can also do that. And you will notice as I keep changing what it is I'm viewing, that the view changes happen quickly and seamlessly. You can also quickly filter through all this data too. So for example, if I'm viewing all the machines in my organization, I can search by Windows 10, and that's going to return all the machines that are running Windows 10 as the operating system. I can also filter by the columns. So for example, I could filter by memory utilization is greater than, we'll say 35%. And for even greater granularity, I can also combine filters. So for example, how about I look at machines with CPU and I'll filter by is greater than, we'll just say 5%. So now I've got my Windows 10 machines that are greater than 35% of memory and greater than 5% of CPU. Let's clear our filters. Now let's drill through this data. I'm back looking at all the machines in my organization, and I could see that there's a red metric displayed for disk queue for this machine. I'm going to click on it, and it will drill me down to the machine view level to just show metrics for this single machine. So I could see several disk related metrics are showing red. I could highlight over to view more details, and I can also click in to drill further. So let's click into physical disk time. And here it's bringing me to the user session level. And I can see there's three user sessions and one of these user sessions is generating quite high IO metrics. And if I drill in further, it brings me down to that process level within that user session. And I can see this one process, dynamo.exe, has quite high IO write operations. So this process is the culprit that is causing the high disk queue on that machine. So we've navigated by the tree view. We've also drilled in through the data. There's also this awesome topology view at the top. Right now, I'm focused on a Citrix site. And if I click into cloud connectors, I can look at metrics related to my Citrix cloud connectors. I could also click into brokers to look at my delivery controllers. I can click into my Netscalers to see those Netscaler ADC devices load balancers to see the load balancers configured on my Netscalers. And I can also click 
on my EUC sites to navigate to my VMware Horizon site too. And you can see that the other options then change, like brokers changes to, to connection servers. I could see my VMware Horizon connection server metrics. I could see application pools, farms, and desktop pools. This was just a quick glimpse at ControlUp Real-Time DX. There is much more to see, and I hope you enjoy diving into the product.